Hi everyone, I'm Chu Guanyi. Today, I will introduce our recent work, Prohibited Item Detection via Risk Graph Structure Learning. We are from Beijing University of Post and Technical Communications, Hongzhen Laboratory, and the University of Notre Dame. Chuan Shi is the corresponding author. Okay, let's begin. In this talk, I will first introduce the background of our work. And then I will detailly introduce the, the proposed model RGSL in the second part and uh, the experimental study in the third part. Finally, I will summarize our work in conclusions. The first is the background. Nowadays, increasing penetration and the rapid development of online shopping have significantly changed the lifestyle of humans. However, there are various items against laws hidden in commodity as well, such as wildlife, illegal medicine, cheating, and, and theft tours. The selling of these prohibited items will lead to a lot of uh, personal, personal risks, platform risks, or even social risks. Current, uh, current industrial solutions prefer to formulate uh, this problem as a typical classification task and uh, directly deploy classical machine learning to exact uh, confi confident uh, evidences. Recently, paying attention to the rich structure information among nodes, researchers and uh, engineers prefer to introduce a graph neural networks to handle this problem. Specifically, Given, uh, given the original ecologic graph consisting of users, uh, items, uh, sellers, and many others, and many other entries, as well as multiple edges, we can design several risk relations, uh, including some seller, relevant seller, and uh, some visitor to collect uh, risk relevant items and then introduce the powerful graph neural networks to identify prohibited items. However, graph neural networks usually require high quality structures for message passing and high quality labels for supervised learning on large scale graphs, uh, where the performance is often limited when dealing with such complex and noisy structures. There are two major challenges in prohibited item detection with graph modeling. On the one hand, the quality of heterogeneous structures of risk graphs are often very low. For example, there are a lot of loyalty connections from illegal items to normal ones, implying the poor homophony metric. Besides, it is, different, it is difficult to connect all prohibited items or in other words, there are many incomplete uh, connections of relevant pairs. On the other hand, the supervised information is often weak in two aspects. First, some labeled items uh, would be very different in attributes because, they are, because there are multiple subcategories of prohibited uh, items. Moreover, the prohibited items uh, would be very similar, similar to the corresponding normal ones uh, for adversarial attacks of legal sellers. To overcome the two challenges, we propose the RGSL, namely prohibited item detection via risk graph structure learning. Next, I will present our method RGSL in detail. The system architecture of RGSL consists of three main models, including risk graph construction, heterogeneous structure learning, and uh, pairwise metric learning. Moreover, we design the iterative structure optimization, which can introduce a risk relevant item embedding for initiali initializing risk graph structure iteratively. For heterogeneous, for heterogeneous structure learning, we first designed the heterogeneous uh, similarity measure to 
evaluate the type-wise importance of all typological edges and the k nearest neighbors of VI. And then we filter noisy structures and add the confident uh, attributed pairs by designing the heterogeneous structure filter, where the edge importance is larger than the threshold uh, Ipsen. Finally, we get the effective neighborhood information from the optimized uh, graph structures, including modified structure types R and uh, the attributed type A. Traditional graph neural networks usually require plenty of high quality neighbors. However, as mentioned above, prohibited items would be very different uh, in attributes due to their different uh, subcategories, limiting the classification performance. Moreover, the size of manual labels is often very small as well. In this paper, we transform the classification setting as a metric learning task from observed prohibited items to their relevant candidates. Basically, we treat all the we treat all the observed prohibited items. We treat all uh, pro prohibited items uh, as seeds at first, and then we calculate uh, the similarity of all candidates to the to the given seeds and the sample the most relevant seed candidate pairs for training and uh, inference. Notice that the pairs which contain prohibited candidates are labeled as a prohibit as a positive instance. And the normal candidate related pairs will be enabled as a negative instance. The optimized objective is to close the relevant prohibited items and enhance the difference between seeds to their and between seeds and their relevant normal candidates. Notice that the initialized attribute graphs could suffer from adversarial attacks, where illegal sellers would make attributes of prohibited items to their relevant normal products. Therefore, to optimize, the, to guarantee the quality of initial, of the original attribute graph GA, we propose to fade back the risk uh, the risk relevant uh, representations of items for risk relevant similarity measure. And then the optimized graph is then input uh, in the framework again. Thus, the final objective optimization consists of the iterative uh, graph structure learning law and the L2 regularization of non-able latent parameters. By law, I have introduced the details of our designs. We showcase the experimental setting and, and the results in the, in the third part. We perform experiments on three sets, including uh, in three risk scenarios, including medicine, uh, cheat and the safe tools uh, exacted uh, from Taobao platform. We compare our proposed model RGS uh, against uh, seven representative baselines, uh, including tradi uh, traditional uh, machine learning method LR and uh, MLP, uh, as well as uh, the heterogeneous uh, graph neural networks, including HN and HGT. Uh, besides, we also compare with uh, some uh, some graph structure learning best uh, models GRC and the GAUG. GA. We evaluate the performance of our method and uh, further make the model analysis, including variant analysis, uh, parent parameter analysis, and online test. We evaluate the performance in average precision 
max F1 and uh, AUC matrix. The larger value of these matrix implies the better performance. Obviously, RGSL performs the best in all three in all the three risker scenarios. In ablation studies, we discuss the effectiveness of, of heterogeneous cross structure learning, pairwise metric learning, and the iterative manner. As shown in Figure Four, the proposed RGSL can perform the best on all three sets, demonstrating the advantages of our design choice. Meanwhile, we adjust uh, the value of um, um, trace hold uh, Ipsum and uh, the number of iterations in figure five and the figure six res respectively. Obviously, we should, uh, we should take both the 13 uh, information and adding confident connections into consideration as, as shown in figure five. Uh, in figure six, with the iteration, with the size of iterations uh, uh, increasing, both their performance are prohibited item detection and, uh, and the homophenia of given risk graph has become, has become larger as well, implying the effectiveness of iterative training manner. We also deploy our model on Taobao platform. And uh, the online testing on one week uh, demonstrates that our model consistently performs uh, better, better than traditional MLP. Finally, we summarize uh, the major contributions of this work as uh, the first part. At first, RGSL is the first work to introduce graph structure learning in prohibited items, item detection. Second, RGSL can optimize both risk structures and uh, risk graph structures and uh, prohibited item detection by iteratively keeping the consistence of feature smooth and the label homophony. Offline and online results prove the effectiveness of RGSL compared to representative SOTA uh, approaches. Thank you. I, I th thank you for that very interesting presentation. Um, so as before, we have a few minutes. If there are any questions, please shout or, or, or type them into the chat. Um, but as before, I will also start with, with some questions. So just to give other people some time to to think. So, you know, what, what I find really, really interesting about this was the, the online comparison as well. I, I think that that was, that was a really nice addition. Um, and what, what I'm, what I'm wondering about is how does this relate to kind of some of the other topics, for example, discussed in the session, such as fraud detection or, you know, issues were the kind of learning with imbalanced data. It, it, you know, what, what is it about prohibited item detection that sets this apart from those other kinds of approaches? Uh, sorry, uh, I can't understand. Uh, can you, uh, can you? Uh... Yeah, sure. So I, I, I'm asking, really about this application area of prohibited item detection. Um, I, I'm wondering what are the unique challenges of it compared to um, other applications such as fraud detection or learning with imbalanced data? Okay. Uh, the major, the, uh, the major challenges, uh, uh, the major diff difference uh, compared to other uh, problem is that uh, uh, in uh, in this scenery in this scenery uh, the the uh, the neighbors uh, there are uh, there are men uh, the uh, the neighbor is very uh, uh, the 
the, the neighbors are, are quite imbalanced and, uh, uh, and uh, the neighborhood items are very, are, are very uh, the size of neighborhood items are very small. So, uh, so it is diff uh, it is uh, it is difficult uh, to uh, to unionize uh, traditional graph neural networks uh, to handle this problem, and uh, uh, so the so uh, even we conduct uh, such graph, there are there are quite a lot of noisy information in this graph. Which uh, limited the uh, the effectiveness of graph neural network. So we focused on conduct um, a more su suitable structure for training. Uh, 